What's up guys, I'm Puneet from Programmers and welcome back to this series on JavaScript. In this video, we will learn to write JavaScript comments and see why they're important. Comments are hints that we add to our program to make our code easier to understand. Let's see an example. I have this program to print the name of a user. So the program looks something like this. So I create a variable called name and let me hard code Puneet into it. And then I'll say console log name, I'll use the string concatenation or plus operator and say the name is the variable name or the value of the variable name. To make this program a bit more readable, I can add a comment like this. So on the top, I'll say program to print the user's name. This line that starts with two forward slashes is a comment. We added this line to make our program easier to understand for anyone reading our code. Let's see what happens when we run this program. When I press run, it says name Puneet. As you can see, the program runs normally without any issues. This is because JavaScript completely ignores the line that starts with two forward slashes. We can also place comments after the code statement like this. So here, after the console log, I can say print the name variable. Now I can run this code and you can see that I get the same output. The comments are, are completely ignored. Though we can add comments anywhere in our program, we should not add unnecessary comments. This only makes our code very cluttered and messy. Since the code in our program is also self-explanatory, let me remove these two comments. So I'll remove this one and I'll remove this one as well. We can also use comments to debug our code. Suppose we are experimenting with our code and sometimes we might not need some piece of code during the test. In such situations, it is a good practice to comment out codes so that it is ignored by the compiler rather than removing the code completely. Let me give you an example. I'll write a program to take a name and age input from the user. So let me remove this old code and I'll say, let me write a comment first. Program to take users name and age. Let me create the name variable. So I can say name equals prompt, enter name. Similarly, age equals prompt, enter age. Now let me console log the name. Oops, let me make this capital letters and use the string concatenation operator, the plus operator. Similarly, I can say age and plus age. Suppose in this program, it was no longer required for us to take the age input from the user. So instead of removing these two lines, which accept the age and print it, I can just convert this into a comment by adding two slashes in the beginning. Now they're comments and they're ignored by the JavaScript compiler. Let me run this program. And it's enter name, let me enter Puneet. And it says name Puneet this line and this line were completely ignored and that's why they were not run. Now later on, if we need to use the age variable again, all we need to do is remove these two forward slashes and this code will run. It will ask me for the name and age and now my program works as expected. This is because these two lines now are statements instead of comments since I've removed the two forward slashes in front of them. A little pro tip for you, remember the keyboard shortcut to apply comments. In most text editors and in our online compiler as well, it's command in Mac or control in Windows plus forward slash. So I can do this in one go right from the keyboard. This will be very useful in debugging our code. If you're enjoying this video, please also check out Program is Pro where we provide tutorials along with quizzes and challenges which will help you practice and test your learning in real time. Also, the course includes projects to give you an awesome experience of how programming works in the real world. And for our YouTube subscribers, we are giving 50% off on the yearly plan. Sign up by scanning this QR code or use the link in the video description to claim your discount. In JavaScript, there's also another type of comment that allows us to comment multiple lines together. Let me give you an example. So I'll remove this old code and let me write a long comment. So I'll say this program is used to take the 
name of the user. Similarly, in the next line, I'll say you can get the name from the user and display the result. Now I'll write the code prompt enter your name. Similarly, I can say console log name and then the string concatenation num and name. Now I want these three lines to be comments. We can do that by typing the forward slash and asterisk at the beginning. Similarly, at the end, I will need to type the asterisk and the forward slash. And now these lines are a multi-line comment. There's also an alternative way to do this. Uh, let me remove the multi-line comment operator first. And what I can also do is I can select these three lines and I can use the keyboard shortcut that I told you about before. So command slash since I'm on a Mac, but for Windows it will be control slash or on Linux as well. So I'll press command slash and you can see that this was immediately converted to comments. Let me run this code and let me put Sarah as the name and you can see that my program works as expected. Multi-line comments are useful if you need to explain the code a bit more or need to add more text to understand the code. In this case, you must have noticed that when I use the keyboard shortcut, it actually made single line comments out of two lines, but some editors might do this and make this a multi-line comment as well. So this differs from text editor to text editor. Whatever the case, if you use the shortcut, it, these lines will always become comments. Okay guys, we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users. YouTube really likes engagement on the video. So leave a comment below, press that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses. Let's take a moment to discuss why comments are important. Imagine you're working on a huge web development project for a client. Since you were on a tight schedule, you decided to ignore comments. You successfully delivered it to the clients and they're happy about it. Fast forward a couple of months, the client wants to update some features of the project. Since you were the one who developed the project, the client wants you to make that change. Now without comments, you will forget the reasons why you wrote a particular piece of code a certain way and you'll end up spending a lot of time looking at your own code and trying to understand it. Comments are even more important if you're working in a group. It makes it easier for other developers to understand and use your code. That being said, comments are not and should not be used as a substitute to explain poorly written code. You should always try to write clean, understandable code and then use comments as an addition. Now that we have reached the end of the video, it's time for the programming quiz. Which of the following operators is used as a comment in JavaScript? Comment your answer below and if you want to revise this concept, you can find all the programs in our GitHub repository. I'll put the link in the video description below. Happy programming.